This man is Ernest Scribbler, writer of jokes. In a few moments, he will have written the funniest joke in the world. And as a consequence, he will die laughing. <laughs> Ah, the absurdist comedy of Monty Python. But can a joke be so hilarious that it kills? <laughs> the Python sketch never reveals the exact nature of the joke. It's read in German during the Second World War as a sort of linguistic weapon, a, a killer meme, if you will. Don't run to Google Translate, because that's total gibberish. But the idea raises a couple of questions. First of all, is it even possible to create the world's funniest joke? Comedy is extremely subjective. The same joke will summon full-on belly laughter from one listener and a dull groan from another. Humor itself is a tricky subject to understand, though we've been banging our heads against it for thousands of years. Plato, Aristotle, and Thomas Hobbes argued the superiority theory of humor states that we simply find the misfortune of others amusing. Think cringe comedies like The Office. Meanwhile, Sigmund Freud championed the relief theory, which states that comedy is simply a way for people to safely release suppressed thoughts and emotions. And this can include everything from a cutting slice of controversial Chris Morris humor to a simple fart joke. Immanuel Kant favored the incongruity theory, which suggests that humor blooms when people notice the disconnect between their expectations and the actual payoff. You only think that guy in the YouTube video is going to splash in the water, instead he bounces off the ice. Oh, the hilarity. One of the more recent theories equates humor to survival. The benign violation theory holds that humor arises when benign subject matter and violent or dangerous subject matter overlap. And laughter itself is a way to communicate to others that a previously perceived threat isn't really a threat. It's why if a friend startles you, you may well break into laughter after you realize, hey, they're not a man-eating cave bear. It's also why even a deathly grim horror movie will elicit laughter from an audience. However you choose to look at it, laughter is clearly deep-rooted in the human psyche, and it's very much a full-bodied event. When we belt out a really hearty laugh, we feel it throughout our body, even the arms, legs, and trunk muscles. Fifteen facial muscles contract and we feel the unmistakable stimulation of the zygomatic muscle. That's the main lifting mechanism of your upper lip. Meanwhile, the epiglottis partially closes the larynx, interfering with the respiratory system. You gasp, and then sometimes the tear ducts even kick into action as well. So there you are, watching a 30 Rock rerun in your living room, red-faced, weeping, and struggling to breathe. You can see how this might push an already compromised or unhealthy body into the red zone, and indeed, there are plenty accounts of death by laughter. Historical accounts attribute laughter in the deaths of Greek philosopher Chrysippus and medieval monarch Martin of Aragon, both of which sound a lot like laughter-induced heart attacks. In modern times, the goodies incident takes the cake. Let's take a peek at the lethal humor from a 1975 episode of the British absurdist sketch comedy show, The Goodies. <laughs> Hey, you may not have laughed, but for bricklayer Alex Mitchell of Kings Lynn, England, that stuff was lethal. Cardiologists believe Mitchell suffered from a rare hereditary heart rhythm disorder called Long QT syndrome, which can induce cardiac arrest when triggered by exertion, adrenaline, or a strong emotional response. In some cases, the heart resets itself after five or six beats, but sometimes it doesn't. So while jokes and memes may overpower individuals and take whole cultures by storm, the idea of a fatal weaponized joke remains a mere bit of absurd humor. So what about you? What's the most intense physical reaction you've ever had to a bit of comedy. And what's your favorite go-to joke? Mine is, what is a chicken's favorite vegetable? I don't know, what is a chicken's favorite vegetable? Mock, mock, choy. Wonk, wonk. Let us know in the comments below, and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe. Yeah.